All right, boys and girls, welcome back. You get another episode of my voice sounding like this, because I like to uh, record uh, a bunch of episodes in one day. So uh, we just finished Jeddah, where we almost won the race, but we lost it uh, right at the last sprint to the finish line. We were overtaken by both Red Bulls, so currently second in the constructor standings, six points behind Red Bull, and we are second and fourth in the drivers' championship behind both Red Bulls, respectively. Max Verstappen in first and Leclerc in third. Now, let's check our inbox. We got a new part coming in. Suspension is in, so let's go ahead and design it. Wait, let me... How many days till the race? 11 days. So, where is it? Suspension. Oh, boy. All right, let's do this. Let's rush it. Should give us three by the time practice starts, and then we will have all four parts by the time the race starts. So let's go ahead and do that. And when is the next parts coming in? Uh, 15 days for the side pods, 18 days for the chassis. Now, if you missed the last episode, I've been sick for a few days. So my voice sounds like this, uh, so we'll just have to bear with it for now. Hopefully by the time I record the next few episodes. My voice will have cleared up a little bit. So, we have nothing else to do. Oh, we have some points to distribute. One point for Oscar anyway. We're going to put it into smoothness to help that tire management. And then that is it. 84 and 82. Let's check the driver ratings. All right, Verstappen and Sainz. Sainz is a 91 now. Okay. Leclerc 91, Russell 90. Did Lewis Hamilton retire? Yes, he must have. He's not here anymore. So Lewis Hamilton did retire. I didn't even make a note of that uh, at the beginning of the year. Was he here last season? I can't even remember. Um, Russell Perez. Who else is gone? Is Alonso gone too? Yep, Alonso is gone. Vettel is still here. Who else? I can't even remember. Ricardo is still here. Bottas is still here. Sergio Perez. Boy, I can't believe Sergio Perez is as old as... Almost as old as Vettel. I know Vettel came in quite young. Alright. Uh, Alright, so that is it. That is it. Does anybody on our staff have points to distribute? No, we don't facilities checking we got refurbing facility operation operations facilities we got the team hub coming in and then we have to save a little bit of money for our factory eight and a half million dollars now since we have parts coming out i'm gonna wait until after those parts are done and then we will refurb the factory i don't know if i want to upgrade it Development speed, 25%. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we do. But I think for now, we'll just refurbish it until we save some money. We only have $13 million right now. God, I can't breathe through my nose. All right, so 11 days. Since we got nothing else to do, we'll go ahead and simulate. And then we'll throw those parts on as soon as they are done. All right, tour center refurb. That's good. Hopefully, we'll see our top speed and acceleration go up as soon as the uh, side pods are put on. All right, we got a little bit of money now. $19 million. Race preview, financial report, confidence check-in, up-and-coming driver. Who says Franco Fontana? We got some new drivers. Got a couple new drivers here. That kind of looks like uh, Lucas Blakely, huh? New F1 Esports champion. McSimmons, this guy looks like a middle-aged man, but apparently he is 18 years old. Why do you have to pick the most typical-looking Asian <laughs> um, <laughs> profile pick for an Asian driver, man? Couldn't get somebody up there from like a K-pop band or something like that? Henrik Carlsen. 
It looks more like a Middle Eastern driver than anything. Alvaro Contreras. Yes, another middle-aged man that is apparently 18 years old. Wilhelm Seifert. Tanner Fellows. All right. Arnaud Marchand. All right. I don't think anybody is really all that great, though. Marchand, 57 at 19 years old, is probably the best-looking prospect. The next best driver is Pepe Marti, 59 overall. All right, so no new drivers looking all that great. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the car first. Put the new suspension on. Then car analysis. All right, so we moved up a little bit. Top speed and acceleration has gone up a little bit, or at least acceleration has. And our cornering, uh, maybe slight improvement. I think we were like 5th, 6th, 7th. This category, it looked like this category last week. So I think it's improved a little bit. This has improved a little bit. Acceleration has anyway. I think this has pretty much stayed the same. When is the next parts coming in? Four days till side pods. So, and then we got the chassis in seven days. So by the time the next race comes around, we should have all, uh, all of our parts done. And then next ATR period in three weeks or so. All right, that's good. Well, let's take a look at the car analysis compared to other teams. Our biggest rivals, Red Bull, seems to be getting better and better. Uh, Mercedes, they've been improved a little bit. Alpha Tauri. Still first, first in top speed and acceleration. Oh, well, their cornering and dirty air cornering doesn't seem to have improved. All right, so we look a little bit better this week compared to last week. Let's see what categories matter: low speed, high speed, top speed. Okay, shoot. Yeah, we're like top three, but we're not the best at anything. Okay. All right, well, let's get started with the Australian Grand Prix, guys. I will take care of practice. I will see you guys for the start of Quali. All right, three and six after FP3, not terrible. We got 95% for Alex, 87% for Oscar. Oh boy, um, oh shoot. Hmm. Go left, or do we want to go right? I'm gonna go left up there, um, and then maybe we'll go right down here. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, let's hope that fixes it. And then for here, let's just go one little click to the left. See if that helps. All right, three new sets of softs. I don't remember what the strategy is at Australia. Probably a one stop once again. We'll try to save one set of softs anyway. All right, let's go. I mean, pretty decent qual um, practice times. So hopefully we can qualify well enough here. Copy, radio check. And check the weather. It should be green now. All right, we're good. It looked a little gray. All right. Australia is one of those tracks that get a huge map for some reason. The tracks are like really tiny maps and Australia is a huge one. All right, let's try and find a gap. All right, well, well, we still got a couple minutes. Right after, who's that, Vershaw? VES. I think that's for sure. All right. Please, nobody come out in front of us. Damn you, Joe. P2. 
and P4 still. I think we might be good enough to not have to do another lap. Yeah, I think we're going to take the risk here. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. Please let that be good enough. Piastri, definitely good enough. Albin, I don't know. I'm going to leave them in the pit lane. Please let this be good enough. Please let this be good enough. He's going to drop some good spots. Session. I know that. All right. Three and ten. Good enough. We make it through the next round. What is our confidence at? 96 and 96. Okay, good. We'll put them on the scrubbed sets. Send them back out again in Q2. Check. check the weather once again. Looks gray. Okay, we are good. Green light. Green light. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe send them out right now. Yeah, just so that we don't get caught in traffic. Hey, look at that, we got Slipstream too. Thank you, Valtteri. Oh, fuck you, Norris. Oh, still P2 and P4. I'm definitely going to send them out again, though, because... Um, Gasly's not three seconds off the pace. I know that. Actually, let's look at this. Signs Verstappen. Oh, Piastri's not that far off of Signs and Verstappen, actually. And neither is Alex. Uh, maybe we should send them out again. If at least just to get an idea of what their pace is. Okay, should start coming out any time now. All right, we're behind Ocon and Mercedes. Not exactly a slow car, not exactly a fast car, but we should be okay. Mm, I can almost kind of smell again. Let's see. All right, purple sectors here, boys. Purple sectors. I'll take green. Well, what happened to Piastri? Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> Piastri was in P10 with the grid penalty marker next to his name. All right, so he was about a tenth off. Uh, Piastri was about a tenth off. And Alex was about a half a second off. Yeah, what else is new? Damn it, Alex, you got to pick this up. Pick this up. Pick this up. Okay. Scrub set. Scrub set. Save one set of new solves for the race, just in case of a late safety car. Check the weather again. Looks gray. All right, should be clear. And off we go. Yeah, it's going to be a slow lap. They're on scrub sets, and uh, they don't have anybody uh, giving them slipstream. That's fine. And, of course, Magnuson gets in our way right at... <laughs> Fucking hell, man. You kidding me. Well, I hope his lap got screwed up. Alright, we are about to go for our final run, and I know that we are not 9 tenths and 1.6 seconds slower than everybody. Alright, good, we will get slipstream here as well, and we are one of the last cars on track. Come on, green. I mean, they're definitely going to be green. We can't be slower than what our first laps were. 
Come on, give me some purple sectors, guys. Green, green. Green, purple. Oh, pole position. Hell yeah. Did my wife just cooked something. Something smells good. All right, so we are first and fifth. Oh, not great, but still good. I'd rather be f in the top two rows, but P5 is fine. Okay, what are we looking at now? Well, should be a clear race today. That makes it nice and easy. Nope. All right, so it's going to be a medium, actually... Maybe we'll do medium, hard, medium, and push like crazy. I think it's going to be a two-stop anyway. Let's do that. Uh, Oscar's definitely going to need a medium, hard, medium, just because he doesn't have the tire management to make the softs really work anyway, so... Well, we'll go medium, hard, medium for now, play it by ear, and uh, see what Red Bull end up doing. Let's hope they don't start on the softs. That would suck. The driver. Brace right. yourself for the Australian Grand Prix. Five red lights. It's lights out, and away we go. Nobody on softs. That's good. Well, Piastri, we're gonna push right away. And Alex, we will push right away as well. We got plenty of tire life to do it. What do you guys think of the uh, Haas and Red Bull livery um, reveal so far? I mean, no surprise. Red Bull made no changes. Haas made a bit of a change, though. Um, I think at this point, most people just have accepted the fact that Red Bull is not going to change their livery. I mean, it's Red Bull. It's their logo. It's all over the drinks and everything. I would still like to see like a, a, a different shade of blue. Like back to their um, maybe Sebastian Vettel four championships in a row shade. But or even something like that similar to um, like a similar livery to that. But I, I don't think that's going to change. But the uh, Haas one, I don't have as much of an issue with it as most people do. I think the Haas seems fine. All right. We're not pulling away from Verstappen. That's uh, a given. Let's just save our battery for now. And let's see if we can pull away. We've already got... Why is it saying Alex is one point one seconds behind Leclerc when I'm literally right on his ass? And why is it... Oh, it says it's to leader. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was like, why am I so far back? Yellow Sector 3. DRS is enabled. DRS enabled. Bottas spun. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. I guarantee we're going to see this incident like three or four more times before the race is over. Okay, we are right on the tail of Leclerc. I don't think anybody's going anywhere anytime f uh, soon. All right, if we can drop Norris, who's almost out of DRS range, we might be okay. Nope, he's right back in it again. We're stopping making the move on Piastri. We, oh, we do get DRS, okay. Place. Alex not really able to make any moves here either. Can we make a charge down this straight? It's a shame they got rid of DRS on this straight this year. I think uh, it would have made the racing a little bit more interesting. Uh, 
All right, not quite. Norris is back to within two tenths of us now. Can we get and anything done? Safe fuel, safe fuel. Okay. All right, so no moves just yet. Man, it's really tight at the front this year. We really need to start bringing those upgrades. I'm actually excited for this. After this race weekend, we'll get two upgrades coming in. One of them is just a minor upgrade, but that's fine with me. All right. We're going to be here all day. Let's go 8x now. Still maintaining our positions. We were in P1 for a little while there. Uh, but Verstappen managed to get by us. And we cannot get by Verstappen now. Um, by virtue of their top speed. Even with DRS, we can't get by him. And we still can't manage to drop Norris from behind us. Oh. It's going to be a safety car. Multiple cars crashed. Nope, just a yellow flag. It's okay. Race position gained for Mercedes. Signs now in front of Piastri. Who's that that just crashed? Let's take a closer look. Now just Multiple cars crashed hands. and no safety car or VSC. And there's the hit. And it's crystal clear who was in the wrong there. Two cars oh, they didn't get beached. Okay. And a new position just gained by Williams. Can we stay here? Apparently we can. Alright, so we saved a little bit of battery through there. Dropped off a little bit from the leaders, but we're catching them back up again. I want Norris to fall off, but he's not falling off. Mercedes is, or the Alpine is, a lot quicker than it looks on paper. Mercedes definitely is. As Signs is now in first place. All right, we're in the pit window. All right, just in case they decide to go for a one stop, I'm not going to push the tires yet. Once I see people starting to pit, then I'll start pushing on the tires. But for now, I'm going to just follow the Red Bull. We still have pretty decent tire life here. Red Bull oh, we managed up. to get around. No, we didn't. Damn it. He took the position back. And Leclerc took the position back as well. Ignore it for now. Okay, so we got one taker, two takers. Are any of the leaders going to come in? No, not quite yet. Yeah, Alex, you're staying out as well. Anybody else? Nope. Top seven still on their first set of tires. Piastri up to P2 now. And there's an overtake from Williams. Come on, nobody's pinning yet. Okay. Oh, Verstappen just crashed out or something. No, I want to see the Verstappen crash out. Someone spun out. We can take a look now. Oh, what happened here? Uh, what did I say? I said we'd see this crash a few more times, didn't I? I'm pretty sure this is um, the same thing that just happened to Ricardo as well. All right, so Alex is now 1.3 seconds behind. Did somebody spin out there? Perez. It's the same crash as well. 
Yeah, how do I know it? How do I know it? Anytime there's a crash, it's always going to be repeated like four or five times before the race is over. All right, let's hope Ricardo, I mean, not Ricardo, Piastri slows down signs enough to where we can catch up. All right, Verstappen into the pits. Actually, I think we need a pit Alex first. Medium hards. All right, and now All right, still out in front of Verstappen. That's good. And here comes Piastri for his stop. Yeah, all right. We made it out in front of everybody. Nope, never mind. Leclerc's still out in front of us. Just gained by Williams. All right. Damn it. Piastri is out in front, and Alex is now in P6. Provisional P6, as Gasly's still yet to pit. Okay. Oh, I think we might be going to the end. I think we might be going to the end now. Because if the mediums went 26, 27 laps, there's only 30 laps left to go, so the hards should probably go to the end here. Let's hope that's the case. If there's a big enough gap behind us, I might pit later towards the end of the race. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Come on, Piastri, you're stuck behind a McLaren. There we go. All right, he's out in front now. All right, start pulling away and start trying to catch up to those guys. Might not be a bad idea to let Verstappen go in front of us and then just try to catch up to him. Uh, just follow them. To catch up to the leaders. It looks like Leclerc and Sainz are fighting pretty hard at this point. So we should catch up to them in no time. And I think this might be our last stint on tires. I don't think anybody's pitting now to the end of the race unless there's like a safety car or something. Look at that. In no time we've already caught up. Now let's play the shuffle game and somehow get our guys to the front of this pack. Look at the Mercedes. The Mercedes are right up here fighting with us. Come on, Oscar. Oh, boy. That's a spin. Same exact, <laughs> same exact accident that everybody else had. And he slowed up. Alex down too. Alright. We're not winning this race. Too many cars it's ahead of us now. In a DRS train. Oscar is four seconds back. Alex is still in the train. That's good. Um, is Alex firmly in the train? Alright, good. Let's uh, start harvesting. Let everybody else fight. We'll harvest for now. Maybe we'll have a chance to attack at the end. There's going to be some tough races until we get those uh, upgrades in. Alright, we should be good now. Back with NDRS 2 as well, that's good. What is the tire life of everybody? Oh, Jesus. Safety car right now would be really nice. Throw on some softs and then just charge to the front of the grid. That'd be really, really nice. I 
don't think Piastri is catching. In fact, he's falling back even further. No. I don't know. The gap is like changing by half a second. Half a second one way this lap, half a second the other way next lap. Alright, we're up to P4 now. That's good. One or two positions at a time. Good thing is that that's Leclerc in front. And Verstappen is in P3. So if things finish the way they do now, the gap will be smaller than if Verstappen was at the front of the uh, grid right now. We still have plenty of fuel. Don't think we have enough... Oh, man. Yeah, I think this is how it's going to finish. I think uh, we've had a car run wide. We would love a safety car right now. Get Piastri in there, into the pit lane, put on new tires. All right, let's start managing a little bit. There you go. There you go, Alex. All right, Piastri, you're on your own, bud. Just gained by Williams. Can we get in position down this straight? Maybe down the DRS straight? Dive it right down the inside. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Six laps left to go. Our tires are going to be dead. Ah, Verstappen's in front. Surprise, surprise. His tires are worse than ours, though, it looks like. Let them fight. We're down their tires. Leclerc is right on our tail. I wanted to start conserving a little bit of tires, but I don't think we're going to be able to stay up here if we do. Leclerc will just pass us. Try it one more time down this straight, and then we'll conserve one last time for a final push. Come on, Alex. You gotta do something different. Alright. Are we still... Alright, we're still in front of Leclerc. I'm trying to conserve as much battery as we can. Leclerc doesn't get a great launch down the DRS straight here. That's good. Alright. We've hard managed to harvest a little bit of battery. I think by the end of the lap we should still have about 45% left, hopefully. Don't deploy down the straight. How close is Leclerc? Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. We want to have some juice for the last two laps. Yeah, Piastri is not really moving. I don't want to pit him. If we pit him, then he's going to drop outside the points. He should have enough tires, just barely enough to finish P6. That gap is getting even small, um, larger. Oh my god, the tire wear. No bueno. Come on, Alex. Just dive it down the inside. Damn it, Alex. All right, so Verstappen is at nothing on the tires now as well. It should be enough to get us through this final lap. 
I hope. And then we'll just blast overtake uh, all the way on this final lap. This will be last lap. Come on, Alex, come on. Verstappen's got no tires left either. Do something. Come on, Alex, do something. Inside, inside. Oh, Jesus. Beat him to the line. Beat him to the line. Damn it. Oh, man. It's going to be a tough season, boys and girls. It's going to be a tough season. Oh, Jesus. So, third and sixth. Once again, Piastri starting above Alex at the start of the race. And then mistakes just costing us with Oscar. Yeah, a little disappointing. His consistency is just not good enough, I, I guess. Tire management's not good enough. And we have to keep pitting earlier because it's... I mean, we pushed with Alex for like the first, I don't know how many laps, and uh, we had to pit Piastri one lap after Alex just because his tire management was so poor. Still got a podium there, though. And... Uh, Verstappen didn't get the win, so that's always good. In driver standings right now. Uh, Verstappen's still ahead of us. Six points. Leclerc in P3. Signs P4 now. And Oscar down to P5 with 33 points. Constructor standings. We are behind Red Bull by 13 points. Ahead of Mercedes by 31. So that's still good. We're still in a good position, boys and girls. We got upgrades coming in as well. 889. 1463, 865, and a development point. That's good. Oh, boy. $4.6 million. We didn't hit our incentives, did we? No qualifying and finish position streak we didn't hit. Well, that's not good. All right. Suspension manufacturing complete. Team Hub refurb complete. That is good. 11 days till the race at Imola. And we should have our parts done. So we'll leave that here, boys. If you think I've earned it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Remember to eat your bok choy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully the upgrades will help us perform a little better at uh, Imola.